Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new, make sure that you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another video like this one again. Today we're going to be talking about the new moon that we're having. It's also a solar eclipse. Now there's a lot of things I want to uh, teach you guys about this moon phase, okay? It's happening on April 8th, okay? I have my notes right here. It's happening on April 8th, it's a solar eclipse and it's in the sign of Aries. So. Usually I will do uh, my new moon and full moon videos with a, like multiple spells that you can do. But around this time, I wouldn't really recommend you do any spells. But I do want to share with you guys certain things you can do. Three things specifically that you can do around this moon phase that will help you, that will help you release negativity, that will help you get rid of things that don't serve you, that will help you get rid of negative habits, and just things that um, just don't work for you anymore, okay? Now, there's a, it's a very fiery energy, okay, what I wrote down here. It's a very fire energy that has to do with your independence and how you function and work and go on about your day-to-day -day life individually by yourself. Even if you have people around you, even if you have help, even if you have people working working for you, uh, no matter what the case is, this is talking about just you. There is three things I want to talk to you guys about of what you can do to get this moon phase working in your favor and also this solar eclipse working in your favor. And let's get into those three things right now. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is journaling. Okay, journaling is very, very powerful. And I know that sometimes for some people, like sometimes even for me, it gets annoying. Like I have to sit down and write these things down or I don't feel like writing right now. I just want to scroll through my phone. I just want to watch some videos, watch a movie or just kind of just go to sleep, right? When you're in that mood, you're in that mood. But let me tell you the power of journaling. It has helped me manifest countless things, like countless things. Um, and the thing is, you have to kind of force yourself to get up and do it or sit down and do it, sit down and do it. Like just turn on a song, turn on a movie, um, go outside in your backyard or just sit on your couch while you're scrolling. Journal. There's a huge power in journaling, whether you feel good or whether you feel bad. Specifically when you're feeling upset and when you are feeling bad, um, journaling is extremely powerful. Okay, so anything, just write down a sentence, just write down anything, write a letter to the person that is upsetting you, write a letter to one of your spirits, your ancestors, write a letter to yourself, write a letter to your inner child, letter, write a letter to anything, just write, okay? But specifically around this time, I want you to write something that you want to release and I want you to write it nine times. So you're going to write, I release blah, 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 blah from my life. And you're going to write that nine times. And if you have multiple things that you want to release from your life, then you're going to write those things like nine times. If you have five things you want to release from your life, you're going to write those five things nine times each, okay? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that paper, you're gonna crumble it up and throw it away in the garbage outside your house, or you can burn it. This is a very powerful thing to do around this solar eclipse in this Aries new moon, okay? Because it's something that you are trying to get rid of from your life and write it down, throw it away burn it, get rid of it. The next thing I want to teach you guys about this new moon and solar eclipse in Aries is meditation. Okay. Meditation is such a touchy subject. I feel like with everybody, everybody has their own interpretation of meditation. And some people think that like meditation is just like crossing your legs and like, you know, doing your mudras and stuff like that. And that is very powerful but a lot of people are not at that level yet. I feel like I'm not even at that level yet where I can sit down and do that and stop the thoughts in my head. But meditation to me is not, um, 
stopping the thoughts in your head. It's kind of engaging with those thoughts in your head. If you guys hear that, my neighbor's dog has been extremely active lately. Every time I turn the camera on, he starts barking and I can't do anything about it. And it's really annoying, but I can't do anything about it. But it also teaches me meditate, right? Silence that. Um, distractions will always be there like that dog, right? Distractions will always be there. And sometimes you can't do anything about it. You can't get rid of the distractions. Specifically, like if you live with somebody, like you have roommates or something like that, um, you know, they have their own life, you have their your own life. And, you know, you can't silence everything and everyone all the time. So sometimes you have to learn how to bring that silence into your own mind. So for me, meditation means silencing your mind and also getting in tune and in touch with the thoughts in your mind. So anytime I'm cleaning, cooking, making oils and powders and salts for my shop, it's very meditative for me because it's allowing me to work with all these things with my hands and just getting lost in my thoughts. And when I get lost in my thoughts, I'm able to process my thoughts, heal my thoughts, understand my thoughts, engage with my thoughts. And it's very, very, I feel like productive. It's very healing. And it's very like, I just move forward from that moment. And I, I love like painting and uh, even like simplest thing like doing the dishes or cooking a, a, a really good dish. You know, I just, it's like driving, you know, you know what you're doing, you know what you're supposed to be doing, but, but your mind goes somewhere. If you go on a long drive, you know, um, you know that you're, you know what you need to do, turn the signal on, go this way, go that way. But at the same time, you are lost in your own thoughts. And so I feel like that's what meditation kind of is for me, at least. So I want to ask you guys, what is meditation to you? Let me know in the comment section down below. How do you get into that meditative state where you just lose yourself in, in your uh, thoughts and then you're able to think and process and heal and understand your thoughts and understand like what happened throughout the day, what happened in the, this situation, what happened in that situation, you know? And something that I really like to do is I love to use massagers. I, I love to use heating pads. I've been using heating pads since I was like a, a little girl, you know? Um, when you when I get my periods and stuff like that, I will put the heating pad on or even like if it's too cold, something in the summertime, I use a heating pad, electric blankets. I love heat. For me, heat is very comforting, even if it's like 100 degrees outside. That's just me. But that puts me in this state where I feel comforted and just feel just nice and warm and relax, you know? So this company right here, sent me this massager. This is what it looks like. You guys, let me tell you about this really quickly. Okay, this is what it looks like. You could put it on your chest, the back, like on your shoulders, on your tummy, on your lower back, uh, like on your legs, on your butt, okay? Um, and these balls right there, these little stones, they are jade and they are tourmaline. Jade is known and believed to bring a lot of luck. And tourmaline is known and believed for cleansing and protection. So these, they heat up. They heat up, you guys, and then they vibrate. They vibrate on you and it feels so good. And there is three different kinds of vibration modes on here. And this company actually sent this to me and I love it. They sent it to me in, so you can actually take it anywhere you want. It fits in this little bag right here. They give you the bag. What I like to do is I like to turn it on, on my back, my lower back, or if I'm on my period, then I like to turn it on my stomach. And then, or on the nights or days where I just had a long work day, I'll put it on my back. I'll watch some videos. I'll read a book. 
I will listen to some music or I'll talk to my mom on the phone. I'll talk to my grandma on the phone. I'll talk to my brother on the phone um, while I'm getting a heated massage from stones, like actual genuine stones. And it is one of the best feelings in the world, you guys. And I will link it down below. It is really nice. And it's, it's a treat. It's a treat for yourself. And around a moon phase like this that we're having, it's a huge treat. <laughs> like, I want to know in the comment section down below, how are you going to treat yourself around this moon phase? For me, I'm, I'm going to be using this all night, all day, while I'm editing your videos, <laughs> while I'm editing your readings, and all that stuff. While I'm making oil, sometimes I just like to sit on the couch and have all my things laid out on a table and I'll make the oils just relaxed. And I put that relaxation and that meditative energy into the oils and I absolutely love it. So if you guys are interested in this, I will link it down below. I'm so thankful for this company. The company's name is UTK Technology. And I absolutely just, I, I just love it because I grew up with these kinds of things, heating pads and massagers and heat and ice packs uh, on your body for relaxation. Like, you know, you can't always like go get a massage. You can't always go like ask your mom for a massage. You can't ask your dad for a massage. You can't ask your grandma for a massage all the time. You know, they're getting older too. Their hands hurt and things like that. <laughs> So this for me just also feels like their hands, you know, and heated, like their hands would be warm because they put Vicks on it and stuff. So you can also put like cream and Vicks and stuff and then put the massager on and I absolutely love it. So I want to know, how are you going to get into your meditative state around this new moon? The third thing that I want to share with you guys is how to use a spiritual rinse. Around this time, it's very important to rinse your energy your house, your aura. And this is a recipe that I have learned from somebody very specific in my life. <clears throat> they used to practice um, uh, like Santeria. They used to practice, uh, that's why I'm so attached to Legba Baba and um, Obatala Baba, Yemaya, Oshun. I'm very attached to these spirits too because <clears throat> at one point in my life, they did save my life. And if you guys hear that, my windows are open and there's a lot of noise happening right now. My cats are also very active, but um, yeah, like look, a noise and activity, right? Distractions. Um, it's very important to cleanse your energy to get away from those distractions, to get away from those noises, outside noises and outside energies. So this is the recipe that I was taught and it is sage, it is mint, and it's rosemary. You can use just one. You could just use rosemary. You could just use sage. You could just use rosemary. You can mix and match whatever you have on hand. But you're going to boil this in water. You're going to boil it, and then you're going to let it cool down. You're going to strain it, okay? And then you're going to, after your bath or your shower, you're going to pour this all over yourself from your head to your toes and you are not going to wash it off until the next day. Okay? Now watch how you feel. Watch what happens within those 24 hours, especially doing it around a new moon time and doing it around a solar eclipse, especially in Aries. <laughs> um, this is really, really good for breaking bad luck, hexes, breaking curses, um, getting rid of evil eye. And this is a perfect time to do it, okay? If you guys want, I do have a few of these up in my shop and I bless these, I work on them, I feed them mantras. So I awaken these herbs. And if you guys are interested, you can head over to my shop and get that from my shop, but if not, and I already told you guys the recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Head over to my Etsy shop, you guys. I have a bunch of new things on my shop. I'm also replenishing a lot of the powders 
and herbs and oils that I have and uh, I can't wait to see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for supporting me over there. All your guys' orders. I'm having so much fun making them, creating them, blessing them and sending them out to you. Packaging them is really, really fun. <laughs> and also uh, head over to my Patreon if you guys want weekly readings. Every single week I have a week ahead reading to get you prepared for the week, what you need to do, what you need to learn, what the challenges might be, what the blessings will be. That's all on Patreon. I also have a bunch of spells on Patreon that I cannot put here on YouTube because there's a lot of things you can't really say and talk about here on YouTube. And those things are on Patreon. And I also have a book on Amazon that I wrote and that is linked down below. And I will see you guys on all my other platforms and in my next video. Bye.